Thanks for asking me on your new network, Glenn. This set your beats that Slumda gave you at Fox. Sure. I am glad you could stop by. How have you been since Joe McGinnis released his tell-all book? I've seen a few snippets from it. The baby oil story sticks in my mind. I can picture Todd explaining to your guests why they need to get a motel. Might have been a difficult moment for him. Right. Look, that asshole McGinnis is about as honest as Obama. His book is nothing more than an effort to discredit me and line his pockets. If Todd wasn't as easygoing as he is, McGinnis would be at the bottom of Dutch Harbor by now. Really? You mean if he could get away with it, he'd snuff him out? No, I didn't say that, Glenn. I said Todd would love to take Joe out on a fishing trip to Dutch Harbor. All right. Let's get into some of the stuff in the book. There's a part that claims Trig is really your kid and not Bristol's. What's that all about? That's more liberal bullshit. That cow Huffington and her minions have been spreading that crap around since early 2008. Trig is Bristol's kid and chromosome testing will prove it. Okay. What's the story about the church fire and Vasilla? McGinnis writes that you or someone working for you set fire to the birth and baptism records to cover up the fact that Trig is really your baby. Jesus, Glenn, what can I say here? This weasel McGinnis has sat around for three and a half years living off a book advance he got by making a greedy publisher think he knows all about the Palin family. He has had all this time to come up with wild stories and accusations that can't be proven either way. Meanwhile, the publisher, who is more than likely some shitheel liberal is promoting all this garbage so the curious, celebrity-hungry people who haven't got the brains God gave this desk will all run out and buy copies. Sure, sure, okay. I know how the liberal crowd works. Let's get away from the McGinnis stuff and move on to your political future. I've been watching the bus trips and the speeches in the electoral primary states. Are you in on this election cycle or just promoting the Tea Party line? Glenn, the Tea Party is the future of America. If the nation continues on the course it's on, we might as well all buy Rosetta Stone software and learn to speak Mandarin. The Chinese are not stupid. You don't exist on this planet for 5,000 years and not learn something. They own as much of America as they need to influence our government, our major corporations and alter the future for many generations of Americans. If we don't put a stop to this before long, it will be too late. All right. We're almost out of time. Just one more question before we wrap it up. Most people wonder why you think John McCain asked you to be his running mate. Some folks claim, as does McGinnis in his book, that you provided McCain with some, shall we say, special favors to get his endorsement. What say you? I say that if John McCain had spent 20 minutes in the back of a limo with me and then drank a cold glass of water, he wouldn't have lived to lose the election. Like me or hate me, I can handle any man on this planet. Okay gang, that's it for today. Be sure to tune in tomorrow when we spend the first hour discussing how my pal Bill O'Reilly used the Long Island Police Department to nail his wife for sleeping around with a city detective. Juicy stuff. Good night.